welcome to my channel. I'm La Rosa and this is The Seattle Rose. Um, today I'm going to be showing you me cleaning up my laundry room and doing the laundry that I've neglected to do for a little over a week. And I have, I have uh, six kids, five living at home, and four of whom wet the bed pretty frequently. So you can just imagine the piles and piles of clothes that I have, um, including me in two tall's clothes and the everyday like tablecloths and kitchen towels and cleaning rags and things like that. Speaking of towels, my kids are bougie and they only use their towels once. Like, wring that out, hang it up, use it later. But no, instead they just like to pile up the laundry on me. Um, so <clears throat> the reason why I usually procrastinate on the laundry is, I mean, here, here are my excuses. I'm tired, I work a lot, um, and then by the time I get time to do the laundry, it's overwhelming or I'll just wash it and I won't fold it, um, or I'll fold them and I won't put them away. Uh, I seldom do all three steps the way you're supposed to, and then I end up having like this big, huge mess that I have to tackle. So this isn't gonna be your pretty watch me do laundry or anything like that. I don't know. I haven't seen any of them before, but I assume they're all pretty and crispy and giving you tips and stuff, but I don't have that for you. I just don't, I'm sorry. But I can show you um, how real this is. It's, it's, I won't say it's hard having a lot of kids, it's not hard, it's just, if you keep on it, then it's really seamless and easy. It's just, you know, schedule, anytime you have any kind of scheduling, then it makes your life a whole lot easier. I procrastinate, and so my procrastination makes things harder for me later. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, yes, so. What you're going to see in the laundry room is a product of um, all of my work from yesterday because it was a whole lot more and I wasn't going to show anybody how bad it was because, I mean, it was just way too bad. I mean, it, I'm all about being real, but that was just too much. That, that was, I was ashamed, okay? Very ashamed. Whatever. So anyway, watch me. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Piles and piles of laundry, empty bottles, unorganization. <laughs> A pull-up was in the laundry, probably balled up in some pants that I didn't check, yay me. So, what I'm gonna do is, I've learned over, you know, mistakes made in the past, and um, I'll dry them so that the little balls can dry up, and then I'll rewash this load so I can wash it, you know, wash it away. I'll have to shake each piece of laundry out after it's um, dry to try to get the stuff off. Put it back in the wash and hopefully that cycle will take all of this away. Here's the culprit.
So, I didn't get the laundry done when I was supposed to get the laundry done. And now this is the third day. I think that day, which was Sunday, I had to um, take the kids to go swimming. And then after that, I had to go to the store to get groceries. And then I had to cook. And then I had to help them with their homework, make sure that all their homework and stuff was done before school on Monday. And then um, Monday, I don't know what happened Monday. And then Tuesday was Halloween, so I had no time. And now we're on Wednesday, and uh, I'm trying to finish up. And I, yeah, I do have the same thing on because, I mean, shit, I'm at home, so. <laughs>
so I just finished the laundry in the laundry room and here's the finished product. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.